Welcome to Philippine Hobby Community, the show where I talk about anything and everything that happens within the local hobby community of my home country, the Philippines. And joining me in part two of this two-part series is Terry, one of the chemists who have helped create this cool brand of local professional grade paints. Hi, my name is Terry from Arts Colors. And joining us today is Lucky McCann. And as she goes about telling us a little bit more in-depth insight about Arcus and how it's made, I'll be showing you the final clips of my first ever work using Arcus paints, which is this 25 anniversary first edition Marie. I had a lot of fun painting this guy up and you get to see some finished products at the end of this video. So go ahead into the caption below if you want to skip ahead to the timestamp for that beautiful thing. And speaking of skipping ahead, there's some bonus tips from Terry herself at the further end last part of this video. Just waiting for the air conditioning to close so that maybe the audio is a bit better. My God. Oh, there you go. And along with Terry, there are two other talented painters in the hobby community who have helped test and develop this paint. To where it is now. There are three of us in the, in the core team for Arcus. First one, he had the idea for Arcus. His name is Franz Guerrero and he is more known as Estia. It's pronounced as Estia and not Estia. And he wanted me to emphasize on that. Now you know. <laughs> Estia is the crazy painter who has this amazing tattooed gun plus. I myself like to uh, DIY a lot. I like to mix my own paints. Yeah, I started with Gunpla, then I moved on to painting miniature figures and then art, art toys. Then we had another artist, a really talented painter, to test it. Her name is Kosi, the color Coco. So she was our super paint tester. She knows a lot about paints and she gave really really good feedback if you have seen the first video where we feature the smaller arcus paint set the new paint set that i'm using to finish up this model is actually a larger sku but also the formulation has a bit of some changes thanks to the feedback from the first few people who have tested their first round of paints. Arcus is actually a name of a Roman goddess. So she is the goddess of the rainbow. The Greek mythology has Iris. What I love about Arcus is that it's been made by and made for painters here in the local community. A lot of hobbyists here in the Philippines like to make products for us because it's very difficult for us to get our hands on those high quality paints, materials, and models that we can't always access here locally. Then after we uh, released Arcus in the market, a couple of painters from Philippine Tagos also tested it. They also gave valuable feedback. So I can say that Arcus is really geared towards artists, the painters. While they have a good solid base set of professional grade paints, it's nice to know they're working on a lot of other projects moving forward for both more experienced and beginner painters. We will be releasing more auxiliaries that you can add to your um, Arcus paints, such as the contrast mediums, the colored contrast mediums. Hopefully we can also launch the uh, basic metallic set and as well as different other sets for the fantasy painters, such as the uh, skin and the NMM sets. And as Terry mentioned, this is the Arcus branded contrast medium. I'll probably be painting something up on my Instagram and I will let you guys know if I'll be using the contrast medium. So do follow me on Instagram. Uh Another thing that makes Arcus different is its high pigment content. You have this set of high pigment paints and that means you have the freedom to add anything you want to add to it. So you can add any auxiliary without the paint losing pigment or color. So if you're someone in the Philippines and you want to find something that competes 
to international level products give Arcus Paints a try man this is our chance to support companies that can compete and even beat all those other paints that we hear about abroad we just have to support them we just have to look out for them we have to try and see if we enjoy these paints for myself for ourselves because I myself really enjoy these paints you can buy all of these from Shopee so we have a Shopee store it's called Arcus Hobby you can also follow us on, on Facebook if you want to learn about the new updates from Marcus, especially the product releases. I really enjoyed painting up this beautiful Crimson Fist and I hope you guys learned a thing or two about the paint set that I used to paint this guy. It's nice to be constricting yourself to a single set of few colors so that the thinking of using the type of color for an area is a lot less and you can just focus on using the right technique or method to apply the paint and get the effect that you want. It was a bit liberating and also constricting at the same time. It's a great creative process. So maybe when you do get your first set of Arcus paints, you might just want to give it a try on a single set and get to study all the individual colors and how they work together. Admittedly, I did use all the colors for this paint set for this project, but I feel I did use enough to get the familiarity with the brand and product itself. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Louis of Louis Loves Minis reminding you to hobby every day, take the spoos. Hooray! Um, how to get the most um, out of your paints? Um, first thing that I can, uh, I can, first tip that I can give you is um, probably. Uh, keep your caps tightly closed um, to uh, prevent the nozzles from clogging most especially especially if you're not going to use your paints and next is if um, if you won't be painting for, for a while if your paints are just going to be sitting on, um, on your cabinet uh, on your desks or in the cabinet um, I suggest that you shake them once in a while don't let the uh, binders and pigments separate um, to keep the consistency of your paints to maintain that. Um, and lastly, a tip that I can give is, and especially for the Arcus users, have fun with your paint. Experiment. Don't be afraid to create your own colors. If there's a color that you need, try to, to try to mix it. Try to add anything that you want to add to it to experiment on different types of finishes. So that's what we really want to promote with um, Arcus Colors. So the freedom to experiment and come up with um, whatever you need to create your masterpiece. So there, um, thank you for featuring us. Um, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So first is um, Isia. He has an Instagram and Facebook page. Uh, my my page is um, called Arcane Mechanicum, also on Instagram and Facebook. And Mini Coco for Kosi. Um, we, uh, we do commission paintings, so just feel free to get in touch with us anytime. And of course, do not forget to follow Arcus, Arcus Hobby on Facebook to uh, get the latest updates and new product releases. Thank you. Purr, lucky purr. Come on. Purr. Come on. So what do you have to say about Arcus? Nothing? Okay. Okay.